Watersheds are where communities drive all of their water. By 2050, two-thirds of us will actually live in cities. So the lands where our water comes from are really critical to make sure that we have enough water and a quality that we can use. Unfortunately, about 40% of our watersheds are already degraded, but the good news is that we know how nature can play a role in maintaining the quality of our water, cleaning and filtering water as it comes to our communities. So that could save us money in our communities. We could also make sure that we have fewer disruptions and shortages of water. What we know is about four out of five communities globally could actually benefit from source water protection activities. Things like reforesting land or working with agriculture or protecting forests that really could make a difference. Our approach to source water protection is what we call a water fund. It's a collective action mechanism by which a local community comes together, connect to people who are in the upper watershed, and understand based on science which practices will actually deliver better water to users down in the watershed. So there's a governance that's local, there's a way to bring together funding that actually is going to be long term, and in the end there's benefit that's shared between both upstream and downstream communities. What we'd like to do is see this be a tool that can be used in many different places around the globe. We need to partner really aggressively with people who also share our interest in, in nature, in water, and in communities. We think we can help save money for utilities and for cities by doing source water protection. We think we can deliver carbon and biodiversity gains. We think we can do more with less by working together on the landscape. It's a community that's going to make a difference here and get to scale. I'm really, really excited about this work.